things to hurt people. And it's just, this isn't fun. Thank you for your super chat, David. Um, why did I lie about a hate crime? I didn't lie about a hate crime. So pity Patty, they say that I lied about a hate crime, which I never said. My neighbors were at my house and I honestly like the reason why I can't talk about it is because we've agreed as neighbors to like not talk about it on social media anymore and to like calm the waters. So out of respect for the people in my neighborhood, I am not talking about what happened, but that's not what I actually did lie about. There was nothing to lie about. Um, what I shared that night was how I perceived what happened. That doesn't mean it's a lie. <clears throat> Can somebody hide pity party? I can't hide him. But I will note that thankfully that very scary night that was that involved my neighbors and us, everything has been resolved. Everything has been chilled out. Um, we have all agreed to be civil. So that's good, right? Um, yeah. I know that's Frida in the background. Isn't that funny? Okay, so now is the time of the stream that if you have questions, I'll answer them. <laughs> I don't want to just blab and blab and blab. So if there's questions that you have, I will answer them. I had to move 3,000 miles away to get away from my stalker. Yeah, when people get obsessed, it gets scary. It really does. Um, it's very scary when people get obsessed. I've had a stalker for 23 years. It's scary. I am so sorry that you have gone through that. Anna says, your new intro is great. Sounds like recent events are catalysts for positive change. I think it's going to help things. I feel like we'll be stronger. I feel like we're going to make, um, we're going to tighten things up on this channel. Um, my husband is being laid off, which is on his last day of work is on Friday. Um, he designed and um, created my new intro today. And when he has the time off, he um, will be doing some projects around the house, but he's also going to help me more with the channel. Um, if you don't know anything about my husband, he's incredibly in protective of me, but he's also incredibly creative and he's a talented musician and he is um, a very talented designer. And so he has a lot of skills that could for sure help this channel. Um, from musical bits to sound bits to helping just make the overall experience for you more interactive. If I could have a conversation, one person dead or alive, would you pick and why? I would love to speak to Frida Kahlo. <laughs> she was super, super like this amazing painter from um, Mexico. She passed away in the 1950s. And she was um, like basically paralyzed, not fully paralyzed, but from a car, from a, a bus accident. Um, sh her pelvis was shot shattered. And so she spent a lot of her life laying in a bed because of her injuries. And she was like this amazing artist that was also like sort of a renegade for feminism during a time in Mexico when that didn't exist. And I've always like, I've like always looked up to her. She is like, amazing to me like I don't know if you can see it here there's my Frida and then there's my Frida on the back so Frida Kahlo she is my inspiration and my hero what would you say to the biggest is the biggest reason in your opinion why people flock to you for their 15 minutes and then get mad when you do your job and fact check them? Um, 
So with the relationships that I've established with people that are on reality shows, most of the time they tell me that I'm really respectful to them and I allow my, um, I allow them the space to tell their story without judgment most of the time. Um, and when I realize what they're doing, it's only been once really was Matt, to be honest, that I've really had to be like, you're not a good person. You're, you suck. You know what I mean? Like, even though I have sort of cut, like, I'm not going to support the behavior of Lisa, I, there's still not this, like, Lisa and I still don't have, like, this bad relationship. You know what I mean? Um, I just, I'm, I'm respectful to people. That, that's what I think. Um, but Matt, I think, would just get mad at anyone that t gives takes away his platform. That's my opinion. My roommate's family has an original... Oh, my God. There was a Frida exhibit, you guys, in Minnesota, and it was, like, I wanted so bad to make it, and I remember I had tickets to go or something, and I think I missed it because I was sick, and it doesn't come here very often. I've always wanted to see original Frida paintings. I have dreams about Frida paintings. I love her artwork. And I don't like Frida-inspired paintings. Like, people, um, what's the best way to, I bet the best way to be contact through Insta when I don't know how she handles giving it out, honestly. Giving out what? No, no, we don't handle up, no, Discord. We don't pass out the Discord link. What are you, why are you sending the Discord link? Who, what? Please delete the Discord link. Why are you sending out the Discord link? I have to, can somebody delete that comment, please? Teresa, please don't share that link. No, we're not sharing invites, no. No, it's an invite only, it's not, no. Now people can get in. <laughs> I am the person that sends the link. Nobody on my team is supposed to send the Discord links. I'm not trying to be rude, but, like, it's not a public server. It's only for my members, and now I'm going to have to delete all my stuff again on the server. And someone literally just got in. Who's Bubba? Like, I don't know who Bubba is. No. Anyone, even if it's only members, everyone can see what's typed here. I'm deleting my server.